Uh, good morning, friends. My name is uh, Professor Matthews. Today, I am going to take you through an exciting journey of uh, structure in architecture. So, anybody can uh, define what is a structure? What is a structure? Anybody? What is a structure? Anybody? Yeah, somebody is responding there. What is a structure? No answers. Yeah. Yeah. Some uh, structure which is a combination of various components and designed to carry out a certain function. Can you give an example? Can you give an example? Building. And what is architecture? Yeah. There is a subtle difference between uh, structure and architecture. Uh, it will become clear to you as uh, we go, uh, as we make progress. People in the end, you are able to hear me? Last row? Okay. So, the title of this lecture is Structure and Architecture Journey Through the Ages. You are going to study various components. Now, when the teachers are teaching you about a column or beam, they are not going to go into the history of how it all evolved. Perhaps this is the only lecture which will give you some background of how it all started 5000 years ago and till this point in time. What is, uh, what is the modern development in structure and architecture. So, this lecture gives a sort of a very good foundation for you to understand the context in which many other of my colleagues will be teaching you design of concrete structures, design of steel structures, design of buildings, bridges, because the time is very short, you are taught in the present context, they might not be able to relate it to the history of its uh, evolution. So, this gives a connectivity, a link between the present day structures and what has happened in the past. Okay. So, I have been assisted in this by Vinod the Bino who is architect and he worked several months to put this uh, lecture, two students worked uh, several months to put it together and today Bini is helping me with the lecture today. So, let us go to the first one, next one. So, first you have the architecture. Architecture in put in simple terms is the raw material for architect. Can anybody guess what is the raw material with which the architect works? Yeah, the, the painter works, the raw material for painter is paint and the medium, the paper or canvas. For the sculptor it is the material, right. And for the architect? No. What is the material with which the architect works? No. The raw material for the architect is space. Space. So, how this uh, room is created, when the architect imagined the space and captured the space by the ground plane the overhead plane, the side planes, the front plane, rear plane, arranged the seats in this form, provided the lighting and uh, the comfort, that is architecture. When space is captured, molded and given meaning to, that is architecture. And in creating that, he uses ideas, designs, paper and pencil. But the basic raw material is what? Space. So, so, the first concept there is what is architecture and our friends in architecture, the Vinod Bino for example who helped me, they study this for 5 years to come to the good designer to become a good architect. It is not very easy. When you go into some space or area and you find it does not serve the proper function. For example, you sit in a, a theatre and you have too much of reverberation, you hear echoes, it is poor architecture. You cannot see the film properly, line of sight is not clear, poor architecture. 
you do not feel comfortable poor architecture you are not able to carry out your work properly in a space poor architecture. But then who is an engineer civil engineer civil engineer who designs and constructs the structure for which the architect has given a meaning the space right for example the thickness of these these planes the, the, the architect calls it the ground plane we call it the structural floor the architect calls it the overhead plane we call it the roof the architect calls this the side the vertical planes we call it the wall structure. So the same thing there are two meanings for architect and engineer it is the yin and the yang one cannot exist without the other. So architecture and civil engineering they work together to produce all the wonderful structures we see around us is that clear okay. So first is architecture next is next is structure uh, next is structure so for thousands of years we had only architecture and structure working together to produce uh, marvelous structures like pyramids or temples and all the uh, glorious uh, structures all over the world but today what has happened is technology in its varied sense and things like what is called smart materials and computers have come in which gives a new dimension to what is possible with structure and architecture what is smart material anybody knows what is a smart material anybody smart material is a new type of material which has a memory of its own so nitinol n i t i n o l nitinol nickel titanium alloy if you if you make a spring and expand it it loses its springiness then if you take a match and go over it you will remember its old shape and come back to its old shape. So these are the modern developments which we which we as engineers our peers and our seniors have done so technology smart materials and computers computers play a tremendous role you will see some of the structures today which cannot be visualized designed or constructed without computers because the form is such that you cannot do it without a computer. So all this so the three this, this is all of you know this is a Venn diagram say they combine and this area you have very fantastic structures which are possible today which are not possible earlier. So step by step we will go through it next one. So here you have a thumb line architecture timeline of what man's creation right from 5000 years ago to today's uh, structure. So this is a, a thumb line architecture timeline so about 5000 years ago the Egyptian uh, ancient Egyptian architecture this is all this comes under ancient architecture the, the pyramid then the Greek architecture the Roman architecture. Now in the picture it looks like that I will tell you a little more I have seen this actually in Rome it is a phenomenal site this uh, Roman aqueducts this is anybody knows what is this structure 